Jesus. <laughs> he only has five cards. Oh, no. Uh, this is going to be bad. It's going to be bad, okay? Ah, oh, dang. All he has to do is attack the left and the right. Oh, God. Jeez, sure he is so strong, dude. I, oh, I can't wait till the next patch. Sup, guys. Welcome back. I hope everyone's doing well. My name is Bamboo, and you're watching Bamboo Gaming. We have a new card, Master Mold, and a new location, Orcus Forge. For Master Mold, the description on the on reveal effect says add two sentinels to your opponent's hand. This card is going to be really powerful. It's going to make a lot of decks so much better, allowing them to clog your hand with sentinels, not allowing them to get rid of those two sentinels other than from discarding them and stopping them from drawing from their deck. So allowing certain cards like Darkhawk to keep the power that he has throughout the whole game and also allowing Ronin to keep his power just as large also. So we have some decks that's already been made, which sees a Beast Bounce with Master Mold, copying it with Absorbing Man's another another strategy. We see Darkhawk here, another Mr. Negative type of deck. We see Maximus being another tech card, Kang being there too, seeing Ronin, and Baron Mordor. So you haven't seen Baron Mordor in a deck, but he's going to be probably a nice tech card for Master Mold decks uh, running Ronin or Darkhawk. So that is some of the decks you'll be seeing with the new card. And we also have a, a new location, Orcus Forge, which is going to show for the first 24 hours, which stays, which says, after you play a card here, add a Sentinel to your hand. So also allowing both players' hands to be large. So if you want to find decks to run, Ronin would probably be the best bet. Also, Devil Dino is a good one. Cerebro, I'm assuming Cerebro 3 is going to be a really popular deck for the next 24 hours including Spider-Man and Professor X. Uh, Master Mold is going to be there too. If you have Master Mold and if you paid to 6,000 tokens, you're going to not only clog their hand, but you're going to limit the location that they can play because Orcus Forge is going to be there. I think for 50% of your games is going to have Orcus Forge. If you can play any deck right now, it would be probably cards like Devil Dino, Ronin, Dark Hawk, and Cerebro 3. So for the new feature location we have for Orcus Forge, we're going to be running a Mr. Negative deck and seeing how this type of deck list is going to be really good for a location like Orcus Forge. We're going to be running Bast, Angela, Psylocke, Zabu, Ironheart, Mystique, Mr. Negative, Darkhawk, Iron Man, Taskmaster, Ronin, and Arnim Zola. So the whole point of this deck Hit Mr. Negative, hopefully on turn 3, switching everyone to free cost. And hopefully uh, Ronin is probably going to be the only one that's going to be a 3-5. And hopefully their hand size is going to be large enough for Ronin to be effective in this new location. Arnim Zola to kind of do some crazy plays. Taskmaster to copy some effects. Mystique's going to be there to copy Ronin, Iron Man, or Darkhawk. And we also have some neat cards like Angela and Psylocke. It's just going to be there for Mr. Negative. So we're going to play a few games and see how it goes. So we got Bast. So we're going to hit some pretty good cards with Bast. He plays the Hood. So Orcus Forge is out. Uh, after you play a card here, add a Sentinel to your hand. We're definitely not going to play it there. Uh, actually, we probably could and see what happens. Right there, we got a free Sentinel. After turn 4, destroy all cards here by the player losing here. We're going to see if we'll play Darkhawk early. We'll see what happens. Oh, our Zabu gets moved over. Hopefully on turn 4 nothing happens. We'll play... Mm. We'll play both Sentinel and Psylocke in the same lane. He plays on Orcus Forge. Huh. Lizard. Alright. 
And he gets a free Sentinel. Now his head's five. We still haven't drawn Mr. Negative or our Ronin yet. Let's see what we got. We got Angela. So we can go... We can go Iron Man in the middle. Get another Sentinel. I... Uses Sarah. Mmm. This is going to be really interesting, actually. Uh... Hmm. We'll just do... We'll play Ronin on... Hmm... Hmm. I mean, he, I think he wins, but I will just play it out. Dang, he is thinking hard. Oh my goodness. All he has to do is play... Shang-Chi and Enchantress, and he kind of wins. So he snaps, and we're going to leave that one. Oh my god. We're going to play a couple more. So we got Ronin. We got Bast and Iron Man. We can do Bast on the left. And he plays the Hood. He has a free 6. Draw a card, which is pretty good. We got Taskmaster. We draw another one. Let's see what we got. We got Psylocke. We can save Psylocke for turn 3. Hopefully get... Ooh, add two. Uh, we can go. We can go Iron Heart actually right now, and then we'll play Mister Negative next. He gets the Rock. Gets the Rock Johnson. We'll do Mister Negative in the middle. Jesus, so confident. He's gonna leech. I don't know. We know he does play Polaris because we're playing the same guy again. So he has Polaris and Sarah in his deck. I mean, if there's a Sarah control, he's definitely running all three counters right now. Hopefully the next two draws, we still have something like Mystique or and Arnim Zola. That'd be pretty sick. So, yep. And then he plays his demon. Turn five, we got Angela. So we can play something like... We can go Angela in the middle, and then we'll go... Does he have how many cards in his hand? He has five cards. And he's probably going to... Yeah, play Sarah. So let's see what we can get. We got Mystique. Ooh, this is neat. Uh, we can go... Oh, man. We can go Mystique. Uh, I don't think Roland's going to be a good pick. Nah, because his hand size is still going to be pretty good. So we got Klin, Kylin. Can't play cards here after turn four. Oh, end turn. Sorry. Turn two, we can do Zabu. Oh, that's pretty neat. We can do. We'll do Bast. Turn 
turn three, we can go... We can go Angela. He zeroed his lizard. So that's a big one to beat, actually. We can go... Oh, Schneiza. Uh, let's go Zabu and then Psylocke. Oh, dang, he does Shuri. Hopefully this is enough. Sweet. So we win the left location. So we can do... Oh, snap. I'll, I'll snap here. We can go Iron Man. And we got Orcus Forge too, but we're not even going to play there. Oh, uh, this is kind of tough because we can go, oh shoot, we can go, mm. let's just say he Artem Zola's, right? Let's see if he Artem Zola's. If he Artem Zola's, we, we kind of win. Yeah, we'll win. Ah, uh, not enough points. I should have just done the middle. I was countering. Uh, ah, uh, that hurt. All right, we'll do one more. Same guy. All right. Uh, we got Orcus Forge. Uh. Yeah, why not? We have a good... We'll need a good... 2-drop. Just in case. Oh, I don't want to do that. But, we can go... Angela. Armor. Kind of good. He copies his armor back into his hand. On turn... Okay, so now... We're kind of stuck. Yeah, we're kind of stuck now, actually. I'll make another copy of Ironheart. Armor on the left and he gives himself a Sentinel. We'll go Darkhawk in the middle. Yeah, we're tanking my MMR, so let's go. Let's go, we're tanking MMRs here. He's definitely running Shuri, duh. Jesus, <laughs> he only has five cards. Oh no. Uh, this is gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad, okay. Ah, oh, damn, all he has to do is attack the left and the right. Oh, God. Jeez, sure, he is so strong, dude. I. Ugh, I can't wait till the next patch.